Hi there and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is my update for Pando's eyeshadows or actually the finale but it's kind of both because I am going to work on these shades. Uh, I'm going to continue to work on these shades after after this update because I like them. I like this kind of look. I've actually used all of the shadows in this look so I like it for this time of year so I will probably use them pretty much after this update as well and if I hit pan on any of them I will show you guys in the intro for next year's Pando's eyeshadows where I will also have a few new rules and stuff but let's not worry about that right now let's let's move into this update shall we so the first shade that I've been working on is from my palette Mercury Retrograde by Huda Beauty I worked on the shade Hot Mess I've used it 77 times in total, 11 times this month, and this is how it looks. So no pan, but maybe, you know, the dip might be a little bit more defined. Um, I can actually see it with my eyes now. <laughs> there was a time where I could only see that there was a slight dip if I looked in the mirror. But yeah, uh, it doesn't look like it's near pan at all. And still I've used it 77 times. So that tells you something about how hard pressed they are because I don't use that little of it when I use it either. Uh, not all the time. Sometimes I'm very light. Sometimes I go in heavy. Um, it's just the way it is. And I, I really like this shade. I'm not tired of it or anything. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> then we have from Juvia's Place, the Magic Palette. And we have the shade Zakia. Now, I was kind of sighing last uh, month when I got this because I had just rolled out a similar shade. But this month, I was able to use this. And I used this how many times? 16 times. 16. So I was mentioning I'm wearing all of the shadows today. And I'm using it as a transition shade from Hot Mess. So I have Hot Mess, like um as the deepest shade and then I transition into this and then into my next shade and then I have the gray on top of my eyelids and I'm really enjoying this look I never thought I would enjoy an all matte look but here we go <laughs> it actually looks kind of purple in real life which is pretty nice I like purple looks um at least lavender leaning looks but anyway I can't see any difference maybe a little bit of a disturbance like I can see that it's used if I look closely but nothing more than that I'm not going to hit pan on that then we have from the spotlight palette from Ukambe and we have this number two here and as you can see we have a slight dip I've used this 20 times and uh, it's a good transition shade it's a good first transition shade it's a good you know it's very light it's very versatile <laughs> i can use it with a lot of looks but i thought i would have more more progress on it to be honest because it is kind of powdery and kick uppy so like using it 20 times and not seeing a bigger difference that's just a little bit astonishing to be honest and then we have the last shade and that comes from my Agent M palette. I have the gray on, like I said, on my eyelids today. And it's this one, this one right here. And I'm not sure if you can see any difference, but I can see that it's flattening out a little bit on the top here. Um, I had higher hopes for this. It looks like it actually has quite a lot of shimmers in here and when I swatch it. But when I apply it to my eyes, no glitters, no shimmers, nothing. Um, although it is a very nice gray tone and I like it more than I thought in, the, in this look again. But yeah, it's just not what I thought <laughs> and it's okay. And those are my four shades. So I think this is the only update where I don't have any rollouts any or everything is a rollout but I don't have any pens to show you 
that's a little sad but I have hit pan on eight other shades and other projects so let's talk pan percentage and I'm sorry for my hair it's a little bit messy uh oh wow well, I made it even messier <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it will even look uh, worse if I take it out. So um, let's just keep it where it is <laughs> for right now. Okay, so last month I had hit pan on 85 shadows in my collection. And I hit an additional 8 shadows. So now I have 93 shadows that I've hit pan on. Although I did bring in a few eyeshadow palettes, one very big one. So my pan percentage went from 9.39% to 8.93%. So it went down, but I am decluttering my biggest palette. It had eight shades in it that I had hit pan on. So without that palette, without those pans and without all of those shades, I'm now at 9.76%. So all in all, I went from 9.39 to 9.76. So I went up. Whew, <laughs> that's nice. When I have hit pan on eight additional shades, you want to go up, you know, <laughs> in pan percentage. But when it comes to palettes with pans in it, I went from 47.54% to 46.27%. And when I decluttered the big palette with pans in it, I went down even further to 45.45%. So I went from 47.54 to 45.45. So I went down in my pan percentage when it comes to how many palettes have pan in them, but I went up in my pan percentage when it comes to how many shades I have in my collection and how many of them have pan in them, if you know what I mean. So that's all I had for today. I hope you're all doing well and that I'll see you in the next one. Bye.